Now this is a fundamental advance in science. We think it will have implications in the clinic and medicine down the track. But this is all about our immune system. When we think about our immune system, we tend to think of antibodies. So if you get some sort of strain of flu, you get antibodies to that flu. If you get a bacteria, you'll get antibodies against that. That's what we call the adaptive immune system. It means our bodies are adapting, and when we get an infection, we develop antibodies against that. We've actually got another part of our immune system that's really, really old. It's an ancient part of the immune system called the innate immune system. System. And this is so old that it actually goes all the way down into frogs and fishes and even insects. It's been around forever. And we've really started to understand now that the innate immune system clearly is stopping us getting infected. So it also activates when we get a virus infection, a fungal infection, or a bacterial infection, but also drives a lot of inflammatory diseases. So in one case, it's keeping us alive by stopping the bugs getting us, but if it goes wrong, we start to get diseases like arthritis, multiple sclerosis, and all these irritable bowel syndromes, colitis is an example. So what this study is about, really, is how we can connect those two. And people have known about two key parts of the immune system. This old immune system has sort of two components. One's called the complement system and we evolved this to punch holes in bacteria and kill them. And the other one's called the inflammasome, and that's also activated by bacteria and other infections. But really what happens there, if your immune system gets stuck and you get a bug inside one of your immune cells, that's clearly bad, and actually the inflammasome activates and causes that cell to blow up. The cell just suicides actually and says, look, I'm in trouble, I've been infected, I'm out of here. Now what this is all exciting about is for the first time we've really connected these two. We've shown that there's talk and communication between the complement system on one side and the inflammasome on the other side. But what's really exciting is we've found this in a completely different type of immune cell. It's called a CD4 cell or a T cell. Now normally these cells are helping the immune system go around, but Things like HIV, for instance, they infect these cells and they stay there and they don't actually cause this immune system to trigger. So we may have clues for the first time about how these two different pathways in the immune system can work together and we can then teach other scientists about new ways to find new drugs. So it's fantastic. Two ancient parts of the immune system which we never knew talked to get each other actually are connected in this T cell. What it means in terms of science and medicine, uh, what we showed in, in animal models of disease, that if you take these two different small molecules that we're working on, one that stops the complement system activating and one in the inflammasome, you can actually get better disease outcomes and get uh, you know, curative responses in models of colitis, osteo colitis, and that affects lots of people around the world. So it's exciting, it's international, it's new, and these two ancient parts of the immune systems we now know are connected, it may give other scientists the opportunity to develop new drugs against these diseases.